Hey everyone, Spen Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going over the all new 2023 GMC Canyon. We finally have the official details on the new Canyon. Before we get into the video, though, as always, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So, let's talk about these official specs for the new GMC Canyon. So, First off, it is in fact going to use the same powertrain as the new Colorado, and that is a turbocharged 2.7 liter four cylinder that is paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. Now with the Canyon, it's only gonna have one tune, and that is 310 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque. So the Canyon is getting the best possible tune out of that powertrain as standard. And this makes complete sense because GM is trying to really differentiate GMC from Chevy. And that wasn't always the thing in the past because in the past you could get kind of like work-like trucks from GMC. You still would spend more money on them for no apparent reason, but you could get work trucks from them. Whereas now with the new Canyon, you can't really get a work truck version of the Canyon. If you want a work truck, you're gonna get the Colorado and with the Colorado, you can get the lower down tunes on that powertrain. So I like this, I like this hard line because now it's really showing that GMC is truly the more premium brand because it only comes with more premium packages on GM's midsize truck, whether it's the Canyon or the Colorado. Anyways, getting into other stuff here with the Canyon. Four main packages, Elevation, AT4, Denali, and AT4X. And all of these packages are wider compared to the previous generation of Colorado. And you guys can probably tell by like the pictures, it has kind of like a wide body appearance similar to the Ford Raptor. And I think they actually did a really good job. And this is where I will admit that I was wrong. In a prior video, I talked about how I was worried that this truck was gonna be pretty ugly because with the photos that we got from GMC, it has like the split light design, which I'm not a fan of. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically where they put like a pointless daytime running light separate from the headlights. And so it has like no function other than style, but it's just a weird looking style. It kind of reminds me of like an insect in terms of like the appearance. But I will say, this is the first vehicle other than the Hummer EV that actually looks good that has a split light design. It kind of looks like Ford's headlight design, but flipped upside down, which is kind of funny, but it actually works. That being said though, the Colorado still looks better from a front end perspective. And that is kind of something that's a little bit weird with this new GMC Canyon because GMCs historically have always looked better than their Chevy counterparts. But I think that this is a case where both trucks look great, but the Chevy version just looks a little bit better because it just has more normal styling, frankly. Anyways, getting back into the packages. With the AT4, the Elevation, and the Denali, they all sit two inches higher compared to the previous versions. And then with the AT4X, it sits three inches higher compared to the previous Colorado, but obviously there wasn't an AT4X with the previous Colorado. So it's one inch higher than a Denali or an AT4, for example. So pretty aggressive stance for a truck. Now focusing on the lower down packages first, the AT4 and the Elevation, these are supposed to target two different demographics. So with the elevation, this is kind of like your entry level for the new GMC Canyon, and it's the more street oriented version of the truck. It's still gonna have nice appointments inside. It's still gonna look cool on the outside, but again, it's kind of the more street oriented version. The AT4 on the other hand is, well, an AT4. So it's gonna have more aggressive all-terrain tires. It's going to have that kind of more rugged off-roader type appearance on the outside and they're going to kind of tweak some things inside where uh, the interior shots, by the way, of the AT4 look great. Like it has a really cool kind of like custom looking interior, again, to kind of go with the off-road theme, but overall uh, just a more upscale looking interior, especially compared to the previous generation Canyon with all the packages. But again, the AT4 will be kind of like your more dedicated off-road package. And then the Denali, right, is going to be the full-blown luxury package, right? Luxury interior. And so it's going to have the luxury appointments on the outside, like chrome and all that. And then just the more nice looking luxury interior. But frankly, all of them look pretty great from an interior perspective. And then finally, the AT4X is actually the range topper, not the Denali. And the AT4X is like your hardcore off-road package. And this is where that crazy price comes into play. There is, and it, I think it's the Edition 1 is what they call it. Yes, the Edition 1. And it is a fully loaded AT4X and it's going to start at $64,000 plus. And it's basically just gonna come with every single option you can get with the new Canyon. And there's some pretty cool tech with the AT4X that mirrors what the Chevy Colorado ZR2 has, including 
and the 33 inch tall tires and you guys can see like the aggressive like bull bar on the front end beadlock capable wheels the shocks from Multimatic, they're the DSSV shocks. It's a multi-chamber system. And with this edition one, it's also gonna come with stuff like a winch from the factory, which is actually pretty cool. It doesn't have the cool chase rack though that the Colorado Desert Boss has, which I thought was a really cool factory option. So it's sad that it doesn't have that, especially at its price point. But basically, again, you're getting a special edition version of the Canyon with the AT4X package and it's going to have all of the options. Also, the AT4X, just like the Colorado ZR2, will have front and rear lockers, and so you just it'll be a super capable truck. But apparently, you can add those the front and rear lockers to the AT4, for example, is what it looks like. So it's standard on the AT4X, but other packages you'll be able to add it on. And so the AT4 might end up being the value play within the lineup from an off-roader perspective. Um, but just like the GMC Sierra AT4X, the AT4X Canyon has slightly worse angles compared to its Colorado counterpart because of how they shape the front bumper and everything, which is, again, always disappointing. I don't know why GMC does that. Like, just give us the good angles, right? If you're going to do an off-road package, go all in with the off-road package. Now, moving on from that to towing capabilities with the truck. Apparently, the truck will be able to tow 7,700 pounds as the max towing capacity, but the AT4X is going to be closer to like the 6,000 pound range, and if you get the addition one with all of the features and options, it's going to be like 5,500 pounds for the towing capacity because of the weight right that gets in the way of the payload capacity. And you guys can see with the interior shots of the truck, it definitely has a much more modern interior, so you have Chevy's new larger infotainment system and then a digital gauge cluster as well, which looks fantastic. To have that like shifter in the center, which uh, hasn't really changed all that much. You've got a little dial as well for the drive mode select, and then you've got the little switches to do different functions like the lockers for example. But the biggest thing is like with that little shot, you guys can see like pay attention, like the dash and the seats and everything. It just looks a lot more upscale. And then the design on it, I think looks a whole lot better as well. Now I already talked about the pricing on the addition one with the AT4X, but with the other packages, uh, with the elevation, it's going to start in the low 40s. So is the AT4. And then it sounds like the Denali is going to start in the 50s, roughly, in terms of the pricing. And so all of the canyons are going to be more expensive than the previous generation of canyon. But they're only going to be selling this with um, the larger cab uh, configuration. So the four-door, which, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Obviously, it's the most important, well, not the most important, it's the most popular cab configuration. So it makes sense, but, you know, Maybe some people didn't want to have to uh, necessarily pay for that. But again, GMC is the more premium brand. And so what this means is that the Canyon overall is quite a bit more expensive, especially with the top of line AT4X package. And I don't know how to feel about that because ultimately as cool as the AT4X sounds, it's a mid-sized truck with a four cylinder and they want 60, like 60, mid 60s for it, right? Which is crazy. That is what the starting price was originally with the new Silverado ZR2, which is a full size truck with a V8. And so I think that GM knows they're not gonna sell a whole lot of the AT4Xs and that's why the AT4 and the Elevation are priced where they are. I think that'll be the bread and butter, especially the AT4 package. They'll probably sell a ton of those and you'll probably see just a few AT4Xs. But yeah, it's just, it's crazy the prices of mid-sized trucks. I could understand if it at least had, you know, a V6 or a V8 or some, just something more to like really ramp it up performance wise. But yeah, just pretty crazy. But I'm still excited to see the truck in person once it is out and about in the world. With that being said, I want you guys to let me know what you think about the new GMC Canyon, if you like it or if you don't like it now knowing the official specs. And I will say it again, I was wrong in the looks, but... That'll sum things up. I'll see you.